Hey, how's it going everyone? This is Wildboy789789. Today we are going to do a live battle. 2v2, no elves. Might have to host a battle. We'll give it a minute. Ah, uh, we'll host a battle. Sure. This is not a bad composition for Britonia. I think that'll work. Thinks he can best me with dwarves, does he? Dwarves and elves versus the men of Bretonia. <clears throat> oh, I get elves. Okay. Chaos. Okay. And more dwarves. I'm not so worried about fighting dwarves myself as much as I am fighting them with chaos. This guy's gonna really have to know. There we go. Beastmen. <clears throat> I think that will be a little better. Big Ball and Bagel, Destroyer, Wild Boy 789, 789, and Takey Druggy. I hate when people go over the limit. It's like it'll tell you if you're going to go over or not. Like here, it's red. Come on, lads. Hmm. Perhaps I should have brought a trebuchet. Still, this is a pretty solid list. You know, if they're going to tweak their armies, I'm going to tweak mine. How much is a trebuchet? 700. What was that warning? Large number of units are present. No, not really.
They give the ability to have ultra funds. Large armies, which doubles the ultra funds. And like, I don't know. It really shouldn't have bad performance issues. Oh yeah, and I was going to say you can play 4 vs 4. So we're doing half the players, half the army size, smaller than ultra unit size. It really shouldn't have performance issues. Hmm. How am I going to confront this? I'm going to have a trebuchet right out here. A weird sort of excavation, isn't it? Someone's computer's taking a minute. But it's not mine. Hopefully it's not my allies. Dwarves will be alright though. They can just s sort of set up and wait for us to arrive. Oh, here we go. Trebuchet is going there. These can vanguard, so they shall most definitely be vanguarded in the back, I should say. Can we hide them there? Not really. God, why do players have to start the battle so early? Does it not show the eyeball if they're hidden anymore? Mounted yeoman! Man of Bretonia! Nice. It's in line somewhere. Taken fire. Of course, right at my artillery. Mounted yeoman! Like the wind! Battle ready! God help us! Wow. Paladin of Britannia! Those are gunners, really. Forget it. 
I'll just charge in the front. Let's do it. I do not want to leave them in prolonged combat, but I do want to silence these cannons. Going to the grudge thrower. The beast men are doing nicely on that side. I just need to keep these preoccupied. We have broken a cannon crew. We can just split up these armies, which we're doing nicely. The beastmen should be able to do some work. At once. Right away. You get out of there. Paladin of Britonia. For the king. Shooting at his own troops. That'll work nicely. Eh, I should have got my lord in a little sooner. See what I have left. Really, just my infantry. To my banner! King Lou 
Got to be careful with them shooting my king, though. Wow. Trotting on. So gently walk them. Right. Heading out. Order. Right to glory. Is a shot. Thank we stand. Why is this guy so slow? Looks like we're winning this one. This guy said, are you sure about your army? I'd say so. I'd say so. These over there. These over there. These over there. These in the back if we can to get them to quit shooting. Peasants holding strong. Someone left the game. You just can't beat me with Britonia. You really can't. I'm so good with them. They are my faction, not to brag. But to brag. They are my faction.
Armor melee defense is going to be garbage. You're not going to blow me up with artillery. My trebuchet crew said one of them's only legs. I don't see it. For the lady. I mean, I'd zoom in on the last little bit of action here, but there's somewhere in here is a dwarf. There he is. Did it. I hope another Bretonian faction comes out. I would love another color scheme. That would be fantastic. I can't wait. Oh! <laughs> A very good beastman, too. Awesome. Thank you guys for playing. Thanks everyone for watching. And this was a very fun battle. I enjoyed it a lot. There was a good Beastman player. The dwarves were very good. For a while I was not sure I was going to make it through their guns or cannons. But uh, we made it. He broke a lot of my cavalry before I made it up there. Luckily he didn't shoot at my Pegasus Knights. He shot at the Yeoman. And I was able to get behind the lines and get a couple of... Uh, Oh, look at that. We had Grombrindal. I didn't even notice. They did very good. We lost a lot of troops, especially the Beastman almost lost his whole army. All right, so I will catch you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.